Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 28th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we're going to learn to use the if-then statement in our scripts to make decisions. Now, before I demonstrate the if-then statement uh, to you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a minute and talk about exit status. Now, I have my terminal here and if I type in a command, any command, um, even clear, then what the shell does is it associates a value to the command and uh, it basically uses two numbers. It uses zero if the command has been executed successfully and it uses one if the command has not been executed successfully. So if I would use mkdir with the, the argument new here and if I would press the enter key then a folder called new would have been created in my home folder. And if I want to check out whether this was done successfully or not then I, I have a lot of options. I can either go to the home folder and find my folder new there or I can execute the ls command in my terminal and find the directory name uh, new in the output of ls or I can check out the exit status of uh, the command mkdir space new and in order to do that I would have to echo out the system variable dollar question mark on screen so there you go you see that the output is zero which means that the command was executed successfully if I would execute the same command again then this time mkdir would throw an error message at me because uh, the, the folder new already exists and it could not create it again so if I would check out the exit status of this command then I would see that the shell displays one to me instead of zero which means that there was some problem with the command either the syntax was incorrect or the argument that I passed to the command was uh, was faulty. There was some problem with the command and thus its exit status is one. It would tell that to me, right? So now we are at the point where we can begin our discussion on if. So what I'll do is I'll open my text editor and uh, I'll save this script file. And uh, I've become bored and sick and tired of the naming convention that we've been following in this course. So I'll be a little more elaborate and I'll uh, give a name f if then dot sh that is if hyphen then dot sh to be just a little more elaborate I hope you guys appreciate that on the first line I put a comment something like if then statement in action now what I'm gonna do in this uh, script is I'm gonna ask the user to provide me two names and uh, the first name has to be the name of a file that exists in the home folder and if the file exists then it would be renamed to the second name that has been provided to the script right so it's going to be a simple simple file and uh, we would use the mv command for renaming and uh, we've discussed mv in the previous tutorials in case you don't know how mv works then you can check out uh, the other tutorials that I made and you would find uh, mv in one of the tutorials right so first I'll have to ask the user to provide me two file names and I'll display a message uh, in order to ask him uh, so uh, I would type in uh, enter source and target file names there you go on the next line I'll use read to grab those names and I'll store them in the variables source and uh, target respectively on the next line I'll use mv to rename my source file to the target file okay now what if I want to display a message if this command was executed successfully so uh, let me first type in the message that I would want to show and the message would be uh, your file has been successfully renamed right but I would want this message to show up only if this operation was performed successfully so what I would have to do is I would have to use the if statement in this case so if I simply type in the keyword if before my mv command then what the shell would do is it would first execute this command and it would uh, find out the exit status of this command right if the exit status would be zero then it would execute the echo statement and if the exit status would be one then it would basically do nothing right but the if statement doesn't work alone it requires uh, two more keywords the first keyword that it requires is the then keyword and the other keyword that it requires is the fi keyword now fi is nothing but if spelled backwards and it's something that you have to put at the end of your if block 
to indicate to the shell that we've done uh, working with our if statement and uh, the range of if is only between the then keyword and the fi keyword right so i hope you've got this and the syntax is very simple and the operation is even simpler it checks whether the command that follows the if has been ex uh, executed successfully or not it checks the exit status if it is zero then it uh, considers itself good to go if it's one then it does nothing right so it's very simple so i'll save the script file and what i'll do now is i'll uh, clear my terminal first and i'll use touch to create a file in my uh, home folder and I'll uh, create a file called test right so test has been created now I'll use sh to execute my script file and it's called if hyphen then dot sh and uh, I have to enter two file names and I'll input test as the first name and I would input uh, something else like sample as a second name so what the script would do is it would check if the file test exists in my home folder if it does then it would rename test to sample and if it uh, doesn't exist that is if it won't be able to find test then uh, it would basically do nothing but the shell would return an uh, error, error message to me not the script right so if I press the enter key here then you would see that uh, I get the message your file has been successfully renamed so that's what the if statement does for you it uh, checks the exit status of a command and it tells you Oh, sorry, uh, and it uh, executes a piece of code, uh, anything that you type in between the keywords then and uh, if spells backwards, that's fi, right? So that was uh, our discussion on if then. In the next tutorial, we will be checking out the if then else statement and uh, it basically gives us uh, another option. Um, in this tutorial, we uh, did some work uh, because the exit status of our command was zero what if we wanted to display another message uh, if the exit status was one and in order to do that we would have to use the keyword else and i will leave that discussion for the next tutorial thank you so much for watching this one please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial